Hey guys, have you ever heard someone quote the scripture, you have the mind of Christ? They lied. Got a minute? I've heard many people say it over and over again, I have the mind of Christ, you have the mind of Christ, and that's not what scripture says. In fact, I don't even think that that is biblical thinking, but let's look at the scripture first. For who has known the mind of the Lord as to instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ, not you, not me, we, which means that we need to be together in order to have that mind. Yes, the spirit of the Lord is inside of us and whenever you funnel that through an imperfect being as a human, then you are going to come up sometimes with the wrong thing. See, I don't even think this mindset is biblical because what God does is he draws people together and he draws people to him. If you have the mind of Christ, you have no reason to talk to me and ask me my advice. You have no reason to seek out godly counsel because godly counsel would just be you thinking about it in the mind of Christ. But that's not the way that God set it up. That's not what the scripture says. It does say that we have the mind of Christ, which makes it even more important for you to have connections to Christians around you and the counsel of godly people. And Solomon, one of the wisest men to ever live, said this, where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. You would think if someone was so wise that they were able to figure out everything, then they wouldn't say this. They would be able to make all these decisions by themselves. So if it's not about wisdom, maybe it's about a relationship with the Lord. Well, who has had a relationship with the Lord like David? And where do you think Solomon learned these Proverbs? So don't neglect wise counsel. Don't puff yourself up saying, I have the mind of Christ whenever you have a piece of it and it funnels through you. Reach out to those around you and talk to them about the things that you're going through because that wise counsel is going to take you to new levels in your relationship with God, in your life, and it just makes you fulfilled and more connected. Thanks for taking a minute.